and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video we are back at it for another squishmallow hunting video slash haul slash I got so many good Squishmallows this month. I think this is actually my best Squishmallow hunting month. If you didn't know, Valentine's Day Squishmallows are my absolute favorite Squishmallows. So I make a significant effort to find the cuties that I want when the Valentine's Day ones are out. So I do a lot of hunting and I also buy a lot more Squishmallows than I usually do. So we, we kind of have a big haul this time around. So we're going to start off the video with the Squishmallow hunting and then I will do like my little haul and show you individually all of the ones that I got and I have one package to unbox so we're gonna get into all of that. If you like Squishmallow hunting videos or Squishmallows in general be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more Squishmallow videos. I also have a Squishmallow playlist where you can see all sorts of mystery boxes, unboxings, Squishmallow huntings, all kinds of fun stuff on there. But with that I'm gonna toss you over to Squishmallow hunting Raven and then I will see you back here for the little haul. We are starting off at Cracker Barrel and they had a good mix of Easter and of Valentine's Valentine's Day stuff, but they had the little Easter five inches. Of course, there was no Ronnie. They're supposed to be a cow as part of the little five inch squad, but they had the five inch Scarlet with the little white dipped chocolate and the little heart sprinkles. And as you can see, they had like little Amy, little bunnies and other assorted characters. They also had some Squishville, a lot of cuties. I really wanted the chicken and the frog and even the dinosaur or the, the dragon was really cute. And they had this big dragon and a couple other ones, um, also a backpack. And as I was trying to see the tag for the dragon, I spotted all of these clips. They were so stocked on clips. I wonder which ones I missed out on already, but there were so many. I kind of regret not getting the little blue dragon. He was so cute. I have never seen that many clips before at Cracker Bowl, so I was super excited. They also had a Bigfoot and I do already have this one. I was just checking to make sure it was the one with the heart headband, which it was, and also this little bunny. And then at Goodwill, surprisingly, I've been finding a decent amount of squish at the thrift. I found this Amy for $4.99 and she is part of a couple of years ago's Easter, I forget. And also this little dog is part of the little doggy squad and they were both in really good condition. Then at a random toy store, I found this random cat Claire's clip. Um, that was so many C's, but it was 10 bucks, so I did not grab it. At another Cracker Bro, I found this lamb, which I don't think I showed up close in the first clip, or maybe I didn't see her, I can't remember, but they had a lot of cuties too. I stopped onto Kohl's and they surprisingly had some, some little five inches, and then they also had some very sad looking Mike and Sully's on the very bottom shelf. At CBS, they had this one lonely Moana, and they also had some of, I forget which squad this is, TBH, but they had so many of these pink cacti. Marshalls had this like astronaut dog, astronaut fox. I'm not sure what it is. His name is James and I really like the little alien that also comes in the squad. I wish they had that one. I would have loved to see that one. Then I stopped in Claire's. Honestly, like my Claire's was popping off for a while when it came to Squish, but I feel like lately every time I go in, it's just kind of like meh. Like they don't really have that much anymore. They used to have like a giant wall of Squish, but it's never been the same. Take me back to the good old days. <laughs> but I found that same cat clip that I found in the toy store which was really funny but then at cps i found the valentine's day mickey and minnie which honestly i'm not like super into the disney squish i have like one i have like a donald duck and that's it but these are really cute i love the heart motifs like i'm just a sucker for valentine's day stuff so i almost grabbed minnie but i did not end up getting her okay this is what we've got we got big ones Okay, hold on. I'm gonna dig, see if they have the one I want. Eh. Cute. Do you like the line? Cute. This is octopus. Octopus. Okay, hold on. I really wanted the shark. Missed it. Oh well. I also stopped by Walmart and they had a bunch of big ones. They honestly didn't really have anything that I was personally interested in. They had a lot of squish doos, um, a lot of very cursed squish doos, but I really like that purple panda. I really like the colors of it, like it's pastel and really cute. They had a little piggy. I'm not sure if this is Easter specifically, but pretty cute. And I was just trying to dig around and see what else I could find in there because you never know, like it's just kind of like finding a needle in a haystack 
haystack trying to find something good so i was just digging around seeing what was up um hoping for something other than a very cursed squished uh squished too i also hate this llama so much or whatever it is and it's so unfortunate because her name is august and that's my birth month and it's like ugh, why couldn't it be a better one you know but then i also found this little like cow thing i don't know what it is in the toy section I dropped him i did pick him back up don't worry but there was also this dinosaur which was pretty cute i was struggling so much to hold them with one hand i don't know why <laughs> and this little kangaroo with a functioning little pouch it was super cute I've also been so obsessed with these Bum Bums plushies. Like, they're just so cute and, like, they're a little more floppy and I just love that about them. Like, I love that they're just inanimate objects. I kind of wish I picked up the purple chair, but I picked up Little Refrigerator and then I went over to GameStop and they had a few that, like, Deer, whatever it is, is really pretty. I honestly really like that one. And they also had this panda, which I don't like the marbling on him that much and also that unicorn which is actually pretty cute for a unicorn this random anime store had a bunch of big squishmallows and i think they were only like 20 bucks which honestly is not that bad for these ginormous <laughs> squishmallows That's like an yeah because yeah. usually they're more egg shaped but yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you can good, check yeah. the year that it was made uh -huh. 2020 Ooh. i'm just gonna take the video Ooh, yeah. The Snoopy ones. Oh, yeah. I've never seen these. <laughs> They're kind of funny. Yeah. <gasps> Mimi, that's mm -hmm. like yours. This is the one. This is the one I wanted. Mm -hmm. And they have like a you little. Want to do the basket? No, that's okay. I'm not gonna get that many. Mm -hmm. And they have a little dragon. Little doggies. I, I get it. Thank you. Should I get this one? I think I'm gonna get this one. It's a little bee. And she has little hearts and a flower. Unicorn. So, oh, this one's a dinosaur. Ornello. Ducky. I think I'm gonna get him. Yeah. <laughs> so these are supposed to be like pets. Okay. So like fish. Mm -hmm. And then this is is a parakeet. <laughs> but then a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle. I think that's yeah, it. That's oh, that wasn't recording the whole time. <laughs> there. And then at a thrift store, I found this Justice Avocado. Um, this was at Justice, and they uh, definitely don't make these anymore, but she was from 2019. It was supposed to come with a little baby one, but I did not get her because she was like super dirty and stuff, and she didn't have the baby, but... But next up, we are at Walgreens, and they just had kind of like the same old, same old that I've been seeing, all of this like Valentine's Day stuff and this giant rainbow and stuff like that. And then at CVS, I actually found a small version of the giant cactus, which was really funny, um, super cute but they also had some other ones this little alien and this little boba and i really like the boba honestly it's really adorable like with little hearts super cute and another little snoopy and then this walgreens had some of these five inches that i had not seen before but i couldn't really get you that great of a shot because there was a couple of employees stocking like kind of right around there so i was too awkward to go over there and film but then at walmart they had this random like christmas dragon i was like what are you doing here it is february my dude <laughs> but they also had a box of other ones like not too many squish dudes in here so i was like oh maybe we'll find something um actually you know what this is a lot of squish dudes i take it back <laughs> but they had that purple panda again which was really cute and they had the box of pokemon squishmallows but no pokemon squishmallows inside i was so sad i did find this um i think it's a robert maybe but he was stained and he didn't have a tag so i did not end up getting him even though i did want him and i also found a monica which i was very surprised by so some good finds here at walmart but i just didn't pick anything up also i think this is the worst squish do ever made i hate that squish 
so much. Um, they also had some of the same ones that I saw at the other Walmart and this adorable little flower bum bum, which I did end up picking up. And then I went to like a candy store at the mall, you know, the ones that they always have in malls. And they just had some like random candy themed squishmallows and capsules and some mystery bags. So, you know, hey, they, they had some stuff, you know, the axolotls are kind of cute. They have the Squishmallow hug me's, but people already are getting them right now. I don't know what to do. There's people already grabbing them. They grabbed a sloth and an axolotl, but I definitely just missed the cow. This is all they have left. Him. I think I'm going to grab this one. This one is so cute. I have been loving like the mini size. I'm going to get this one, yeah. And then there's the unicorns. Yeah, I definitely saw them walk away with the axolotl and the sloth. I would have liked the blue dragon and of course the cow, even though I already have her, but I just want to see her again. <laughs> I'm in Target now and we found some Squishmallows. There's so many. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are new ones. The strawberry pancake. It's so cute. I wish it wasn't huge. Look at the little strawberry. I'm crying. She's so cute. Okay, there's another one of the orange ones. There's this bowl. I bet people are obsessed with that one. And then there's this one, which is pretty cute. Honestly, I kind of like the fuzzy. Bevin. Cute. There's more. I have that one. Yeah, this is just like a walrus thing. And then there's like a. I don't know. I'm not even gonna pull it out. Okay, in the Valentine's Day section, we got one Duffy. Cute. No dinosaur. That's the one people are obsessed with. Even though I don't really care about it. I like barely ever go to Dollar General, but I stopped by today and I actually found Squishmallows. They had this hippo, um, Riddell, and I honestly don't like the prices being on the tag. I don't think I would buy Squish from Dollar General unless I really loved it because that is just so annoying with the tag. They also had this Squishville set for $15 and I can't decide if that's a good price or not. And then they also had this unicorn as well. So I missed most of the Squish, but I did get to see some. But then at this Walgreens, this was the most stocked of Walgreens I've been to like all month. They had so freaking many. They had them on these top shelves, which is always annoying because like I can't really get good shots of them. But they had some other ones in the seasonal section, but they were all kind of like the same ones I've been seeing. Some of the five inch ones, um, the little like five inch giraffe and everything. So I was excited to see these, but I was itching to go into like the toy section because that's where they were all up on like the top thingy. And look at how freaking many they had this adorable little piggy the frog they had a giant peacock like look at all of this they were stocked with easter i think they had like almost all the easter squares that are supposed to be at walgreens like i think they didn't have the capsules but that was pretty much it they also had this little adorable winnie the pooh with the easter egg basket and they had some more on the other side some pig stackables i was really excited to see those and also some of these cows and i think that's like a llama and some eggs but I was just finding more and more. They also had this giant blue bunny and like some of the Valentine's Day ones that snuck over here. This little chick with the floral belly and like this hedgehog, rainbow hedgehog, and also a little butterfly. I had to get her down to show you because she was so cute. And also this little goat. I was so tempted to get him. And also the sugar glider, which was so adorable. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed the Squishmallow hunting. Now I'm going to show you which ones I ended up picking up this month. And I also have like other random ones like i have one that was a pickup from a friend and i have two that i just rediscovered were in my laundry room this like for months so we have a lot to get into but first i think let's get into my package that i have this is squishmail from one of my friends and i know one or two things that are in here but i think there's stuff that i don't know about in here the main thing that i know that's in here are the little um the little like matching bugs that was like a set from target i did not find those i actually missed like almost all the valentine's day squishmallows that were at target i just didn't catch any of them so thankfully my friend was able to catch them for me and i'm very excited i got my cute little note and some besties in here oh my goodness so here is the first package they are so warm they were sitting in my car oh my goodness they're so cute 
They are so adorable. Okay, this is what I was talking about, the little, oh, <laughs> the little matching bugs. So it comes with this little grasshopper who I already have in the eight inch version right there, as you can see. So now I have the five inch to go with it. I love the grasshoppers, they're so cute. And it has like the little baby heart antennas. And then it comes with this little bug. I don't know what it is. This is Fluxy. I just read her bio, she's a barista, kind of love that. But I absolutely love the little heart embroideries on Valentine's Day Squishmallows and I love her colors. But anyways, I'm so happy to get these. I just, oh, I love them so much, I'm so happy. And then the next one is this frog flip a mellow which is one of my few flip a mellows that i will own um this tag is so freaking cute this is actually an easter squish so this is gonza and robert so this is a robert flip and it is so so cute i don't care oh this is hard to do with nails i don't really care about the egg but it is cute it is an it is a cute egg you know for being an egg but yeah cute little tag cute little frog so happy but yeah so those are the two that my friend picked up for me and there is one surprise squishmallow in here. I have no idea what this is. She was like, I'm gonna send you a surprise one. So I don't I have no clue what this is. You have no clue. We all of us have no clue. So we are gonna open it and oh my goodness! <laughs> no way! I am shooketh right now. <gasps> I've been telling my friend that I've been wanting Zozo Clip so bad and she got me one. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Oh my goodness, I have been Daiso a Zozo Clip for so freaking long. I couldn't find this puppy anywhere at any of my Walgreens. I am so happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause my recording and go and yell in all caps at her right now. <laughs> okay, so that was an absolutely amazing box, and I am so grateful for my squish friends because actually another friend of mine did an amazing pickup for me as well. So you know my friends are coming in clutch with the squish models this month. So I also got a pickup for Evangelica the cow and i'm actually super picky about this style of cows like the ones that have the belly and the spots you know i like the cows that have like the regular spots like connor and everybody right there i do have some of those but i don't have any of these because i'm really picky about them i don't like the spots to be touching their eyes and it's surprisingly hard to find ones that don't have spots touching their eyes so i told everybody who was like looking for a cow for me like don't get one that has spots touching the eyes and thankfully my friend was able to find one and she was so excited when she saw it and I was so excited too so I'm so happy about it and we've got like the little fuzzies I do wish she had heart nostrils but that's okay she's still really cute her inner ears are sparkly and I absolutely love that so very very happy with her she's so adorable but let's get into the ones that I actually bought starting off with the ones that I miraculously discovered in my laundry room I found these in different squishmallow hunting videos I don't even remember when and I thrifted them at thrift stores and I threw them into my laundry room and they just like disappeared and I just found them the other day and finally washed them so the first First one is this stackable I think this is Piper I'm not sure she didn't come with a tag but she is a little penguin stackable as you can see and her tag the reason I got her even though I don't really collect stackables or penguins okay you can't even see this never mind but she's actually from 2018 so she is a pretty old squishmallow and I don't really know how much value she has if she's even valuable but I do like to pick up the older squishmallows from time to time I just think it's nice to have them like kind of like the OG ones so I did pick her up and I don't know if she'll go on the shelves but I'm definitely gonna be keeping her maybe she could be like a good pillow somewhere but yeah finally gave her a good wash along with this amy um i actually do have her tag she did come with a tag i just took it off when i put her in the washer and it's sitting on the dryer right now but she is so like perfect like she's in perfect condition she actually now that i'm looking at her she's a little like lopsided but that just makes her cute she was super clean she's like really plump and like her little fuzzies are like perfect like like they're fine and uh yeah since easter is coming i was excited to get an easter squish i think she was from actually where is she from she's from 2020 which yeah i do remember her being from 
2020. Actually, no, I don't. Just kidding. I wasn't into Squishmallows in 2020. <laughs> I got into them Easter of 2021. So she was from the squad the previous year. Now onto some more Valentine's Day Squishmallows. I did find a five inch white chocolate dipped Scarlet. I did find the eight inch at Walmart and then I found the five inch at Cracker Barrel. So we got her very excited. I spent quite a bit at Cracker Barrel. I also found this little piggy. This is Rosie. She's super cute. She's got that cute purple Easter tag and she is just absolutely adorable. I have a couple rosies. I used to have a really big collection of rosies actually, but I got rid of a bunch of them. So I'm happy to have another one back on the shelves. And then I got two clips. My Cracker Barrel was really stocked with clips when I went. So I was lucky enough to pick up a Maggie clip. And then I also got a little Sophie clip. It's just adorable. I do like to collect clips when I can if they're like really cute and I thought these were really cute and solid so I grabbed those from Cracker Barrel. So I do have some more five inches that I got. I ended up picking up a Zuni from Walgreens. So now I have the clip and the five inch and I really love this giraffe because I love giraffes. It has a heart nose and it has a sparkly belly and sparkly ears. Like what, what else could you ask for? You know what I mean? I did go to the five below drop and I ended up picking up more than I thought. I thought I was only gonna go for the frog, which is this little cutie right here. This is Lonina. I hope that's how you say it, but she is really cute. I, of course, had to pick up a pink frog. I don't normally love the arms, but I'm gonna give it a pass this time because she is a pink frog with these little pink embroidered spots, and I really like it when they do embroidered spots, not just like printed spots, so she's really cute. I really like her. So I did end up getting a Sunny the Bee, and I do have a few bees already, so I'm happy to add her to the collection, but I couldn't resist her in a little 4.5 inch size, and her little sparkly little wings and her little flower and her heart cheeks are what really sold me. I was like, I have to have this Sunny. She is so cute. And then I also ended up getting an Avery. I couldn't resist. Look at how like look tiny and smooshed he is. Like he is, I just want to like, you know, like he's so freaking cute. I do like the sparkly heart. So I just, I had to, I had to, I couldn't resist. And then at Burlington, um, you guys saw me encounter the hug me's and I did end up picking up the owl, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, I just like the design of it. I don't know. Like it's kind of like chonky. I love this like little compact size and it's just really cute. I love the belly embroidery with like the little feathers and of course the heart, big selling point for me. So ended up picking up this one. It is Nikita. Also, I just realized I keep saying this month, but we're literally like in the first week of February. So like within the past like 30 days, right? That's kind of what I mean. I don't know. Anyways, the last two that I got, I actually went to Walgreens today and I stumbled across Squishmallows. I wasn't even looking for them specifically, but I was very interested in this particular stackable from Walgreens um, for the Easter collection. Once I saw this lamb stackable, I could not get it out of my head. And she is a little bit kind of lumpy on the top. I'm trying to fix her up a little bit. I'm not normally a tie-dye fan or like whatever this is. You guys know. But her sweet little face, I had to grab her. She was so freaking cute. Like her heart knows. I don't know. It's just something. They put something in this particular Squishmallow to like attract me specifically to it. You won't be surprised to hear that I also picked up this frog. This is Fritz. Ooh, new frog name unlocked. Um, so this is part of the Easter collection as well. And of course, you know, I had to grab it. This is a chonker of a Squishmallow. Um, they must have heard our cries and started putting more stuffing in these bad boys because he is plump for days. So I absolutely had to get this one because of the floral belly. So adorable. The little cheekies. So adorable. His eyes are embroidered with pink instead of white, like normal Lee, not like the rest of the frogs. So he does kind of look like he has pink eye, but that's okay. I still love him. I think that's it for all of the Squishmallows that I have gotten and it's quite a few. So if I'm counting all of them, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 16 Squishmallows plus the two that I thrifted are 18. I don't know if you want to count those, but that is 16 Squishmallows that I have bought within the span of 
probably 30 days. That's like a Squishmallow every other day, pretty much. <laughs> but I absolutely love all of them. But anyways, now I'm going to have to put all of these on my shelves and um, I will put a final count of Squishmallows right here of how many are on my shelves and how many I kind of own. Anyways, I feel like I've been rambling so, so much, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was honestly probably my best Squishmallow hunting video I've ever done. Um, let me know if you picked up any Valentine's Day Squishmallows or if you're looking for the Easter ones already. Which ones are you trying to get? Which ones have you already got? Talk to me about Squishmallows in the comments. I, as, I, I love to talk about, I just love them. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.